My name is Ian Gruber. My uh, 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 birthday was in 25 and uh, uh, I am fourth generation farmer uh, out from Tara and uh, then uh, for 50 years at uh, Canoundra. Oh, uh, my great uh, grandparents came out to Australia from Germany and he was a, uh, uh, a weaver and uh, so then he, he went to farming when he was in Australia. Uh, that's my, uh, my, my mother's uh, father and uh, uh, he uh, uh, was uh, orphaned when he was young very young and didn't go to school, but taught himself to read and write when he, when he was uh, uh, working in a printing factory. And uh, he ended up uh, uh, building uh, Yarralumna House and uh, a lot of other important buildings. Uh, my father, I left school when I was 14 and my father took uh, my older brother and uh, I uh, into a partnership called G. Gruber and Sons uh, uh, just when I left school. When I went to the Katoomba Convention and uh, I became converted to uh, Jesus Christ uh, and uh, that was uh, a tremendous uh, difference to my, uh, my life and uh, uh, I immediately wanted to be, uh, to tell other people about Jesus Christ and I wanted to be a missionary to do so in other lands and uh, went to uh, uh, Dutch New Guinea eventually and uh, uh, spent uh, four and a half years there and I wanted to be a missionary right from the word go and uh, so that's why uh, why I uh, uh, went to Dutch New Guinea, as it was then, now uh, part of Indonesia. Well, I wanted to uh, st tell the story of the Dani tribe that uh, lived in the uh, uh, highlands of Dutch New Guinea, and I was uh, one of uh, the uh, uh, original party that uh, met up with these uh, uh, Dani people. Very, very scary for uh, uh, the uh, uh, Australian people uh, at times. Uh, they were lovable people though, uh, lovable uh, rascals I suppose you could say. And uh, uh, they uh, fought amongst themselves and were in constant fear and uh, did some terrible things. Uh, four or five uh, uh, metre uh, spears and uh, bows and arrows. But uh, I never lost uh, one hour of sleep uh, because of uh, uh, the uh, uh, scary things. I have uh, been threatened with a uh, a spear, one of their long spears, and uh, someone called out to me, look out, Tuan! Tuan was the uh, 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 the word for uh, uh, mister. And uh, I looked around in a hurry, called uh, uh, peace to him. Eventually he, he dropped his, his spear down. Uh, but uh, I was naturally very scared. On one occasion, I felt the uh, uh, the, the blood fl flush from my uh, face, uh, but uh, that only lasted uh, until uh, 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 they uh, put the spear, spear down. Uh, when you ask the people uh, in one part of uh, the area, were they uh, man-eaters? And they'd say, uh, no, no, but the people over the hill, over there, 
they're uh, uh, cannibals. And uh, I asked the people on the other side, yeah, uh, we're not uh, uh, man-eaters, but the people back over the, the, the other side of the hill uh, where we'd just come from, uh, they are. My job uh, was uh, building airstrips, or rather supervising the building of airstrips with sometimes 600 people, sometimes carrying, well, mostly carrying uh, dirt from one place to another. And uh, then the second thing was the building of uh, buildings, uh, houses in particular, uh, with uh, uh, just uh, materials from their own a area. And the third thing, I did a, a, a course at the coast uh, uh, at uh, clinics there, which uh, uh, gave me a, uh, uh, a piece of paper saying that I was uh, uh, entitled to, uh, to give out uh, intramuscular and subcutaneous injections. I gave well, thousands of uh, injections uh, to uh, uh, people, uh, Dani people, uh, uh, against the uh, disease yours, which is very similar to uh, uh, to leprosy, but uh, much more contagious and much easier to cure. I didn't know whether it was going to be uh, effective uh, uh, com completely until some years later when a doctor was, uh, who was uh, there said it was the best thing you could have done. He said you saved uh, many lives. When I uh, was back there oh, 50 years later, uh, I met uh, several that uh, uh, one tur would turn round his back round and uh, point to his uh, buttocks where I uh, had injected him. Uh, particularly uh, young people had a, a curved shin bone as a result of uh, yours. It was a dreadful disease. Well, it was absolutely amazing when uh, uh, a party of us went back for the 50th uh, anniversary and uh, uh, the people were more healthy and uh, seemed to be more uh, uh, Better, better fed, and uh, that was because uh, uh, they weren't fighting amongst uh, each other. And uh, well, there were churches, church buildings, uh, all all over the uh, North Baleen where we were working, and uh, there were uh, well th tens of thousands of uh, uh, of truly committed uh, Christians. I called the w a book Nubbelin Cublin and that was uh, the word uh, for a legend that the people had that uh, just changed everything uh, in their life. I wanted to describe the people and so the fictional part of the book and there's fictional parts that uh, right, right through and there's factual factual of uh, when we arrived, uh, the first uh, white people that uh, they had ever seen. And uh, uh, we wanted to incorporate uh, uh, that uh, experience. Uh, I've uh, chosen a young la a child of about uh, 10 or 12 and uh, uh, worked on her life, uh, fictional life, throughout, uh, I suppose, 30, 40 years.